Hey guys, uh, Matt here and uh, I'm with my friend Marshall. Uh, we're in Ningbo and I am set to return to Taiwan on the 25th. My friend asked, hey, do you want to hang out? Because he needs some help with his channel. Yeah. What is it called? Newbie Lee. Newbie Lee. Marshall has always been a tech wizard oh, with yeah. regards to uh, living in China and, and a friend that I've had that's always had interesting tech things going on in his house. Tell me a little bit about your background with computers. Okay, so I was a, I was a programmer, I was a IT major, and uh, that's what actually brought me to China. So, originally taught in the universities, Programming, code, Java, VB, everything like that. Fell in love, got married, pretty much called Ningbo my home base. Yeah. So I. How long have you been living here? Uh, since 2005. Wow, long time. Yeah. Long uh, <laughs> career has changed, obviously, but uh, I still love tech. You name it, I do it. I got computers sitting all over that do. There's computers <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> We're yeah. sitting amongst tech. <laughs> yeah, so yeah. anyways, uh, I was supposed to meet him. Uh, we met for uh, lunch, lunch the other, the other day. day. Yep. And uh, we said, hey, we need to get together one more time before you go. And this morning on my way to come here, he said, why don't you bring in some of the hard drives and the things that you use on the road? Because he says, I have an idea. And so when I came here, I brought basically all the hard drives and the data that I carry on the road. Now, you may be wondering, how do I keep so much information? Because I make a video every day, I rack up a lot of data. And I've done a few different things. I had this eight terabyte hard drive. Now, this thing I have, uh, I have used up. And uh, so uh, I've backed it up to these things. These things I carried on the road. These are four terabyte Western uh, digital passports and they're really solid. I liked them because they, in my they're opinion, rugged. they were rugged, you know, but they're also very heavy. They're like a brick. So I have one, two, and then there's a, there's a third one around here somewhere uh, of, of those. And then Western Digital improved their hard drives, made them a little lighter. And so I have one four terabyte, two four terabyte, three four terabyte, four four terabyte, and five four terabytes. Now these are normally what I carry on the road with me. And although they're lighter than, the, um, than these and considerably lighter than these, it still means I've got to carry a lot of stuff with me. And if I record data on the road, I don't have time to replicate it and back it up. Right. And if I get in an accident or maybe one of these things goes underwater or some, or just some solar shock. flare, <laughs> I am screwed. And all of a sudden, all the video that I've collected is, is useless. I even have backups of backups. I have more and I have more. I have another here and then I have this one. And then, you know, so it really racks up. So I have all of this information. I have no way to back it up. I do my best by keeping it on my laptop and on the hard drive when I'm on the road. But being able to access my old footage and being able to have access to everything that I've ever created on the road, because sometimes I'm riding and I want to pull an old video from the past and kind of throw back to some things that I've talked about. I'll be in Taiwan and I want to pull some old stories. I want to tell the story of me and Ryan which you guys don't even know about that story. <laughs> and there's a big story there and I want to tell it, but that means I don't got to carry extra hard drives. Marshall said, why don't you bring it all here and then take, uh, let me take a look at what you got. And maybe we can figure out a solution to set you up with a uh, offsite server that can house all of your data while you're on the road and something that you can access while you're riding. So what is your thoughts? My, my idea is to, we're going to just quickly throw together a server that's, uh, can be accessed anywhere in the world. As long as he's got an internet connection, he can transfer data back and forth, yeah. and it'll be uh, redundant, uh, RAID, so that uh, even if a hard drive fails, there's always a backup. Yeah. You'll know when a drive fails, we'll just swap it out, and you can continue moving, and you'll never lose anything. I can a access it on my phone, I can pull files from my laptop anywhere in the world using a, a program called TeamViewer. It'll be basically as simple as that, and he's gonna provide me an opportunity to set up a little server in his house that yeah, I can yeah. access from anywhere, and that's very cool. So today we're going to go to a computer market. We're going to uh, see uh, basically how much some of these hard drives will be. I'm going to need about 40 terabytes yeah, yeah. to get started because I have 20 done and then I'll need to replicate that 20. So we can always add on. And you can always add on. Yep. So today let's go and check out how I'm going to improve my data management system while I'm on the road. Jayo. I've always been nervous about 
carrying all my memory with me on the road. I have some backups in the States, but I'd like to have it all in one place and accessible. And if it was, and it wasn't too slow to do so, then I wouldn't have to carry hardly anything on the road with me. It would just be like one or two hard drives with all my current stuff, and then I could access all my old stuff while I'm on the road. Very cool. Burning hot. <laughs> today it is. It is burning hot today. So where are we headed now? Uh, we're going to the biggest computer market. In Ningbo. Oh, yeah. It's uh, un literally underneath the stadium. It's like a mini version of the ones that are in Shenzhen that you see the other... Yeah, yeah, I've been to the Shenzhen there. market. That thing's amazing. Yeah, I was in the Shenzhen there. market. I think I made a vlog about this. I had my... My iPhone um, was broken. I had an iPhone 6. Okay. A 6 Plus or something. And they took and replaced the entire inside. And then they replaced the case. And then they took the case and they they screen printed the patent number for Apple phones on the back. Nice. So they actually screen printed the Made in USA <laughs> component, <laughs> which was funny. <laughs> so I need 10 four terabyte hard drives. I need a case to hold them. I need a power supply. More than a chip. But and that's, that's, a chip. Uh, that's cheap. Hopefully it doesn't cost too much. Blast doors. doors. Gotta love, gotta love the blast doors. China is one place where, if, if there is Armageddon, oh, we're you, safe. You're safe. You're safe. At least, at least everywhere. At least the beginning phases. I mean, look at that door. Stand next to that door just to give it some perspective. Yeah. Oh my God. That is so a heavy bad. door. Wow. Yeah, these markets used to be how everybody got their stuff in China, but now everybody gets their stuff online. So these big electric marketplaces are sort of going by the wayside. Unless you really want something very, very specific. But even then, Taobao's even better. It used to be amazing coming here. Yeah, yeah. This place packed with people. Oh yeah. You packed with move. people. Yeah, I got my one guy here on the corner, the Gigabyte booth. Oh, just here. So one, two, hot. three, or is this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven? That's seven. 8400 IT? That's fine. iPad? 8400. Okay, six core. That's enough. Yeah. That's enough. How much is that one right now? This? Yeah. Will the case have a power supply? Things getting a little, a little expensive. <laughs> Processors, hard drives, power supplies, little memory, cooling, case. Is it worth it? I think so. Dual redundancy backups, though. And backups, and having. But it'll be dual redundant at this point, because then you're gonna plug in all your. Well, whew, it's been here for a long time. Checking a lot of hardware, lots of things. The end result, I think I'm gonna take some time and think about it a little longer. But I think it's gonna cost around 1,700 bucks to get 40 terabytes of hard drive space, the board, the tower, and all the little doodads that are necessary to make my server work. I think it's worth it though. But gotta do a little shopping around. Anyways, catch you later. Okay, back at uh, Marshall's place. He lives, what floor is this? Sixth floor. Sixth floor. What is this place? This is your neighbor? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is kind of a, this is kind of a ghetto subdivided room. We get like some weird ass people that uh, come and rent these rooms for a while. One room, two, three, four, five. The, the police will just kind of show up once in a while and they'll uh, all of a sudden a bunch of people will disappear. <laughs> Huh? Apparently all Chinese happy. prostitutes take up residence in his neighbor's place. Okay, so basically what we're going to do is we're going to put our thumb on this thing. And I'm going to leave it up to him to go ahead and construct me a 
server. Let me know how, how much he's going to. Are you going to follow the process on your channel? Sure. Okay. Yes. He's going to put some videos on his channel as he builds the Jio server. Maybe you guys want to take a look if you're interested. All right. He's going to uh, take our initial price, which is 11500 Yeah. I, uh, I, RMB. I, hoped I can cut it in half. Yeah. yeah. And, then, half. and then he's going to go and see if he can find it in his own little like local markets and Taobao and online, see if he can build a system for a little bit less. And uh, yeah, set it up here and this will be the Jio hub. Thanks, boss. Yeah. And you'll see some Oliver in that you video. You smile at the camera? Say, Say Jayo. 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 He's, <laughs> he's trained well. This board and stuff can we, we can put into a bigger case. Yeah. Better power supply. The, the RAM, the CPU is enough. Because yeah. it's just a data yeah, farm yeah, yeah. storage thing. Awesome. So, don't need the video card. Yeah, that'll work. Cool. Uh, when I have that server set up, it'll make life quite a bit easier. And it'll be expandable. Uh, so it can grow over time. I'm headed now to the train station. I gotta pick up train tickets for tomorrow. Annie, Eva, and I are going to Shanghai for a health appointment for Eva. She needs to get a checkup. It's nice if you can pick up your tickets beforehand. Just gotta wait in line and everything. That way tomorrow, we can just literally go to the train station and uh, we're out of here. As I walked out of the entrance to the main train station to Ningbo, which is like almost a tier one city. It's just under. It's like Shanghai. There was a child squatting and urinating right, right adjacent to the entrance. Like, urinating. So I just arrived back home. It's just been a few few minutes riding from the train station and about less than an hour from, from uh, Marshall's place. Okay, so case 265, 10 port rate controller card, 800 RMB, 10, four terabyte Western digital purples, 5390, 5390. Of course, our power supply, 850 watt with uh, 12 SATA power connections. 895 and it's expandable to double so you can have 24 power connections um so the total 7350 rmb i got the uh that's pretty cool cpu and the board and the ram and that's it man that's it so then your 40 terabyte server with 20 usable terabytes is done that's pretty cool those purple drives are for uh, surveillance. They're designed to be written over and over and over constantly. So they're really good drives. It's a big discount from the quote that we got from the guy at the uh, electronics market. Okay, go. Where are we going? See Tamama house. And, and shave Dada's head? Yeah, sister requested for that. Why? Because of his bad haircut before? No, after he cut, he, he had this, Haircut, he always sick. Last night he had a fever here. So they think it's a hair thing? Yeah, I believe so. Sure. Go on. Hello? Papa Pulala! Yay! Look, look, look. Come on, Dada, let's go. This is to cut your hair. Hello! Yeah, take your shirt off. Holy moly, you're back. What's wrong look at his, look at his back. <laughs> what happened? Did your mom hit you? No. Did you get attacked by a, a big dragon? No. It was like this. Because. Yeah, yeah. In China, if you're if you're sick or too hot, right? Your body's too hot. Then they they do that to your back. Like this. <laughs> Crazy. No. As soon as I got I this, I. Right. I I started to, I started to, you know, I started to have a fever. Yeah, you did, yeah. Do some, like this. Yeah, no problem. 
<laughs> You'll have to take a shower after this. <laughs> head down, head down. Wow, your hair cuts very nice. <laughs> so nice. What? My hair cuts very hard, hard to cut. <laughs> Alright, turn your head this way. No, there we go. It's rain and hair. Hallelujah, it's rain and hair. <laughs> oh, so nice to cut Chinese people's hair. Gosh, your hair is cut so nicely. My hair is too soft, you know, but his hair is really hard. It cuts so good, it's like cutting a bunch of like stiff trees. Okay. Ah. Oh. Now we're gonna go a little longer and we're gonna do this. <laughs> These are good clippers. Wait, <laughs> you wanna keep that? You wanna keep that? No, no. You wanna keep let that? Let me see, let me see. <laughs> Finish the job. Oh, okay. Chinese hair is so keep up. Let me let me make sure okay, it's nothing okay, is low here. Okay. I mean it all of his hair goes one direction. It's very stiff. It's so nice to cut this hair. Alright, you take a shower. Careful not to drop any hair. Yes. And then uh, and then we'll see. Okay? Make sure it's, it's all finished. Feel better? Okay. Oh shui. You're like the sexiest monk I've ever seen. It's like a piece of Velcro. Eva, how about how? Good, how about how? Eva, good, how about how? You can look at how about how? Yeah, 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 Next time on the Jio Vlog. All right, we're headed to Shanghai. Then uh, we're gonna have an off day today. So we're just gonna chill out at the hotel. It's right on the bund, right? Right? And where's the pearl? The pearl is next to us, right? On our side. She's a little fishy. I'm a bit of a fat fish right now. Bendy, go! Woohoo!